So this is Steve again from Nick's Service in Emerald Park, Saskatchewan, and we're going to be covering a few more of the functions here in the Vent 1 cab. Uh, it's currently sitting in a 720 uh, Gen 6 tractor, uh, and it is equipped with a Cargo Profi loader here. Um, so we're going to have some uh, functionality here that uh, your tractor may or may not be equipped with, but we'll kind of touch on those things as we go. We're going to be talking today about the button assignments, uh, how we can reconfigure uh, the buttons here on the multifunction joystick, um, our crossgate lever uh, down here on the console as well as our fingertip controls down here um, We'll kind of talk, talk about uh, how we how we set those up and uh, some best practices and some uh, some things that we do here right from the fact right from the dealership uh, That's going to help you out uh, in your operation so the first thing we need to do is uh, get into our button assignment. There's a couple of different ways we can go about it. Um, down here on the push dial, uh, we have two buttons that we can kind of uh, access that from. Uh, the most common one you're gonna use is that uh, Rubik's Cube looking button. Uh, and it's gonna bring up your tractor uh, information menu here. So this shows you all of the, uh, all the things we can edit here or look at information we can look at here on the tractor uh, with the simple one press of the uh, button. So uh, we can go into our uh, assignments here through that screen and it's going to bring up this, uh, this a screen that looks like this. The other place we can go here is uh, just down here on the console right next to it here we have an identical button. We'll press that and it will instantly bring up our button assignments. So this is the way we sort of have it set up uh, currently. Uh, your tractor might look a little bit different uh, right out of the gate but uh, we'll show you how to configure that uh, to make it whatever you want it to be. Um, so right now this screen that we're looking at uh, represents uh, this joystick down here, your main multifunction joystick. So we have the front and side profile there with all of our buttons. Uh, the next page over here is going to show us our three layer cross gate lever, which is this guy right here. So we have uh, four axis plus the little thumbstick and one button, so that gives us nine functions. And then on the front we have the uh, lever here, so we have three times nine, gives us 27 different functions uh, available here. And uh, as we tweak that, we can see which one we are selecting there. It highlights in green. Um, the next page over here is going to represent our buttons down here. These are white buttons. They're freely assignable. There are a couple that are uh, factory default settings here, um, depending on the equipment of the tractor. Uh, for example, beacons and auto steer, uh, if applicable. Uh, the next page over here is going to represent our fingertip controls. Uh, as I mentioned before, they're going to be just down here on the console, easy to reach. And then we're back to our multifunction joystick. So in order to edit this at any time, we'll have to unlock it just like any other function here on the screen. And uh, we're gonna start off by taking it back to factory default. So we're gonna wipe out anything that was in there uh, previous as far as configuration, so it'll give you an idea of how these things come set up. In order to do that with simple press, uh, it's hit the vent icon here. It's gonna ask if you want to restore them to uh, factory default. And uh, we're good to go. So the only thing it really removed here was uh, we had the suspension uh, adjust right on the joystick as well. Uh, so we're gonna go over how we're gonna put that back in. So right now that function is blank. Uh, it's indicated right here. And uh, we also have nothing showing on these buttons here on the console, okay? So in order to edit that, we'll unlock it again. And we're gonna go ahead and find our function for our uh, suspension up and down, which is this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and select it and as you can see it highlights which boxes we can program that function to um, so we can replace that one of the hydraulic uh, remote levers we can use uh, we can even program our teach-in buttons if we're not using them for teach-in functions to hydraulic functions like a float or a auto steering gauge or whatever you'd like it to program it to uh, if it's available to be programmed it's going to highlight it in green so we're going, we're going to go ahead and press that button and you can see brought in suspension up suspension down there and then we've changed our buttons down here as well. So the color of the LED down here corresponds to the uh, function, uh, which in this case is a powertrain function, um, a driveline function, so uh, it's going to highlight that in green. If I were to change that, say, to a hydraulic remote, it doesn't really matter which one we program in there, it's gonna automatically change that to blue, okay? Uh, if it were a uh, auto steer function here, We'll change it to white. So the color corresponds to the typical FENT um, color coding for the individual function itself, depending on what you have programmed to that switch. So again, we're going to go back to our uh, powertrain settings here. We're going to put our uh, hydraulic up and down in there. And then when we're happy with our configuration, we'll lock it again, and that's what's going to save it. So now, 
I will find my uh, screen here that we have set up for our suspension. Right now it's showing 13%. Uh, push up on the, and it's gonna raise my suspension. Lower the suspension. And it's easy as that. So it's now down on the uh, console where it's easy to, where I'm hanging on to that lever if I'm traveling through the field, uh, instead of having to find the screen like this, press and hold the button up or down. So that's basically uh, the idea behind it. It gives you some easy functionality there. And uh, we typically set that up uh, that way right from the dealership here, just to give you some experience with that. Uh, the multifunction uh, joystick here we'll cover uh, in depth and a little bit more in a, in a better video here um, because we have the Cargo Profi loader on here. We have some uh, functions on there like the weigh and the shake and our memory heights um, which we'll cover a little bit more in detail and uh, talk about that joystick at, at that time. Um, down here on the console uh, we like to uh, include our joystick settings, uh, sorry our GPS settings. Um, so uh, like a nudge to here, uh, we'll put that in there nudge right, nudge left, and then they're down here on the console. Uh, the icons don't necessarily correspond to the actual functions, but the icon will only light up uh, to indicate that there is something programmed to that. Uh, the actual configuration, you'll have to come up to your uh, monitor or your dashboard in order to find that as well. So here we have our hydraulic fingertip controls. Um, right now, we only have one assigned, which is the number seven, which is one of the front. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell in the video here, but that is a bit of a magenta pink color, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and we're gonna assign some, uh, some hydraulics there, because currently I only have uh, the green and the red programmed up here on the joystick. So I'm gonna add a uh, green and a red here on the fingertip as well. So we're gonna start with our red, which is number three. We're gonna pop it in there. And again, same thing, it highlights which boxes you're able to, to uh, put that function into. So what we've done there is we have uh, added those colors in there and down here on the console the colors of the LEDs on the sides correspond to which hydraulic remote you have going on there. Which is a really handy thing especially when you're looking at a quick, quick view of the uh, tractor here um, to figure out which hydraulic is which at the back or which hydraulic is which at the front no matter depending on how your machine is physically configured. Uh, and that's sort of uh, the gist of how you set up a, uh, the buttons there. Uh, you can uh, add and remove different functions, hitches, uh, PTO, um, even a quick button to get into your climate control or edit your implement. Um, whatever you prefer uh, as far as quick button presses uh, that you need up here, there's a plethora of different options. Um, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's the gist of how you'll uh, set up your, your button configuration here on the screen. Uh, there's a couple different places we'll see that and we'll cover that uh, in the next video.